Hey guys, thanks for tuning into the show. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Still to the day, I'd be like, nah, it ain't enough. It ain't enough. I'm like, I'm gonna get it up and I'm gonna run and I'm gonna go to the gym every single day and work out and I'm gonna hit the weights every single day and I'm gonna stretch and I'm gonna do all these things to try to constantly get better and better. I can retire right now and 90% of my career, uh, I can retire right now and my career is better than 90% of players that ever touched the ball and play in the professional level. And that for me ain't enough because I'm looking at how I can get better myself, how I can improve upon the things that I can improve upon to make me a better player. Yesterday is gone. Everything I've done in the past is gone. That doesn't matter anymore. That doesn't matter to me because what is important is what I can accomplish today and how can I improve today to get better for the next day or the next moment each and every day. That is my mentality to get better, to fight, to improve, to talk my last best, whatever your best is to get better than that and to understand that it is a constant never ending journey of work to get to each level each level you gotta let some things go you gotta release a, some weights you gotta take something leave some stuff behind in order to get to that next level and i know it's very difficult for younger generational players to understand the sacrifices that you must have in order to improve to play at another level there are certain sacrifices you must improve in order to get your mind to a certain place. And this is by far, this is why I come here and I speak and I created this whole network is to help those generation because it was something that I was missing when I was also that age. When I was a young guy coming up, no one told me that you need the mentality to be able to play professional. You need to have this overwhelming dog in you that I'm going to fight and I'm going to get it done. Thank God my environment growing up, I felt like I grew up in a, uh, the right era because we grew up in an era where we was outside. I was talking to one of my teammates and we was talking about that like, bro, we grew up outside. No matter what, you're always outside. You're always playing like we lived, even though I was not good, I lived on the court. Either you're playing on the outside court, you're playing in the gym, you're playing, my, my father bought me a basketball goal. I was playing on that goal outside until nighttime, wake up early in the morning, go play before, before school. Like you were just active. And a lot of times, nowadays I know it is a lot of kids are more passive, they're more are inside. I could see it because I, towards the later parts of my career and playing basketball, everybody's on 2K, everybody's on Call of Duty, you know, and now that there are a lot of financial incentives to play these games and to stream and to be on that, which is nothing wrong with that, but it does take away from the mentality of being outside and working and playing and understanding what this, like, that's one thing, but to get to this level and sustain it for a long time. You have to be in a constant working and striving and growing mode, even at a young age. The ones who understand the sacrifice early for later are further ahead. And that's the question that you must ask yourself daily is what exactly it is that you want out of this career that you so forth are seeking. How do you create the mentality in you to be not just a professional player, but just to be a dominant professional player in your own right to what is your game plan to get you to the next level of your improvement? It doesn't happen by accident. So I'm talking to the young guy today. I gave him an example. I say, I come into the gym and I do 10 to 15 underneath the basket mic and drills. Then I do 10 off the glass right hand, 10 off the glass left hand, 
10 hooks right, 10 hooks left. Just like that before in the first few minutes I've done, I already made 50 shots. I've watched a ball go in the basket 50 times. What does that do for your confidence? What does that do for your game watching the ball go in so many times all the times at a number of times? I'm getting reps up at a higher rate. The more reps you get, what does it say? Father time, repetition, what does it say? Learning father time is the repetition of all learning. I'm sorry, butchering the saying, but it's the reps that you get in that teaches you and develops you into that player that you need to be. Not just for as a pro, but just as a better basketball player. I tell them, everybody's around the rim. It's the closest shot in the basket uh, in the game, and sometimes the hardest because no one works on the touch. You got to have the touch around the basket. You have to have that type of touch. And I just told him, just think about the numbers game. Life is a numbers game. If you come in a week and you make a thousand shots this week and I've made 10,000, inevitably I'm going to be better than you because I've just got more reps up. I've gotten more debt. I've gotten more data than you. My brain was able to process more times the ball going through the basket than you. It doesn't necessarily mean, <clears throat> oh, you're just so... He's a better shooter or he's a better... He just got more reps up. I got more data of what to do when things go wrong and when things go right, how to adjust, how to pivot, how to change in order to be successful. We're not getting enough data before we're making our decisions and trying to make the decisions with minimal data and up not understanding why things aren't working for me. Why are things not working for me, but I'm not taking the correct steps and I'm not accumulating the right data that can show me where I am making a mistake, where I am lacking in these areas. And that is something that I want to stress to the younger generation to the guys that just are looking to pursue this career to please put in the work first that is necessary to actually make a clear decision make an adjustment the right way because if you're not getting if you're not doing enough work how can you justify yourself to say you know what I'm able to do this I'm able to play pro I'm able to earn money for myself one day. I'm able to make a living for myself. And all I've done today was make 50 shots. Cause you gotta think about it. When you go inside the gym and you have practice, most overseas practice, like right now, I, I got per perfect example. Right now, our team, we do not have the gym for ourselves. 90% of the time, somebody else is using the gym. We have our select hours. So when are you going to be able to get in and get your workout in? Very few times teams have the whole gym for themselves. Most of the time it'd be a club. So they have their own specific time that you use the gym. So you're gonna have to find your ways to get your little extra work in. That's why I use the example, come in, I make quick 50 shots before we even start a practice. Then I go into my little jump shots and my things that I do. But that's just because I have a routine down that I've been doing for years and years and years. And I, I say, you don't have to believe me, you can just look at the results. By doing this, this is the results. I'm shooting over 50% from the field, I'm leading, the team, leading the league in scoring. These things just don't happen by accident. They don't happen just by happenstance. They happen because I am strategic in my preparation I'm strategic in what I'm working on to help me improve. Hey guys, thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe on our YouTube, Spotify, Apple, and wherever you listen to your podcast. I greatly appreciate it.